Hey guys, what's up? This is MoneyB123 coming to you today. Today I want to show you my LG G2. Mine is the Verizon model, the VS980, running the newest Android version, Android 5.0 Lollipop. So the first thing I want to say is I'm not a developer. I'm not a developer at all. I'm just, just a guy who who's put a bunch of different ROMs on phones, and I just want to show off this newest Android version running on my, my LG G2. So I'm not a developer. So I want to start, start over here on my computer and I want to get this out of the way that these are the guys responsible for us having Lollipop on our LG G2. So Rashed97, I don't know if I'm saying, that's, saying that right. Um, he's the original poster here for putting this CM12, the Cyanogen Mod 12, which is the Lollipop uh, designation for Cyanogen Mod. So he's the original poster, and uh, so contributors were Shed97, GoFlame09, Tim Polad Thomas, Reventex, Snoozo, Cosma, DR Gravy, Mike Criggs, AR Cardinal. So all those guys are the ones responsible for us having uh, this, this lollipop on our phones. Okay, so as I've mentioned, the way that we have lollipop on our phone right now is because of Cyanogen Mod 12 that that is that's how it's on here now this is not a port from anywhere this is from these guys built from source okay and this is also a very early build of cm12 as well so there are some things that are still not exactly right um, but i know these guys have been working like crazy and i know they're going to have it fixed before long it won't take them long but for now the verizon model still doesn't have data uh, there's no video recording you can't watch videos but other than that, most everything works. GPS works, Wi-Fi works, Wi-Fi tether, all those different things work. Bluetooth works. So it's just some of those, uh, some of those, those things I just mentioned that don't work. But still an early build. Okay, so when you turn it on, one of the first things is this is new in Lollipop, is you have your notifications on your lock screen, and I can drag this down and open those up where I can see it better. This this uh, screenshot that I captured earlier All right, so I can open it up or from from here I can open directly into the camera or then I can do the same thing with my phone From here, if I swap up that way, it'll take me into my phone app. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to go over here into settings and show you that I'm running on Lollipop. So I'm going to go to about phone. It's the Android version 5.0. And then there's the Lollipop Easter egg. Change colors by tapping it then if I click and hold I get to play Flappy Bird that I'm not very good at at all so anyways there you go that's the Easter egg is a lollipop and then the the second Easter egg is that you get to play the the uh, Flappy Bird clone all right if you go into settings there's there's is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you some new things in lollipop so one of the things is if you go into settings and you go to security, you can what they call pin an app. So if you go into security, go down in here to screen pinning, and I have it turned on. So let me show you what happens on that. So if I open this up and I open it up to one of my to my open up to my uh, one of the apps that's open. Whoops. If I do that, okay, so you can see here, down here it has this pin. So it's what I can do is I can click on that and I can start it and then I can give this to somebody and they can't get out of this app. They can't, it, it's pinned. So I've got this, this pinned here and these are all these material design wallpapers that, that came out a week or two ago. Some pretty sweet wallpapers in there. I'll put a link in the description to that. But to get out of this, you have to push and hold back and overview, and the screen is unpinned. 
Okay, so let's talk about these new navigation buttons. So you've got your back button, you have your, uh, your home button. You can swap up on that home button, take you into Google Now. Old Lego Batman that I ordered for my son for Christmas for his DS. And this, the multitasking button, which they call the, the overview. So you have these cards that you can flip through here in this overview and click into different open apps. Now, one thing that's new is that those this overview, these apps stay open even through a reboot. You'll be able to, if, if I had to reboot for whatever reason and I hadn't swiped these out when I reboot, those will still be there and I'll be able to go back into those, those recent apps that were there. All right, next thing is in Lollipop, there's a new thing with, with uh, the battery. So you can see there, that's a new thing is you drag down once on your notification shade, drag down again, you get this quick panel. If you click on the battery, something new here is it shows you how much time you have left. So that's something new. All right, another thing, if I go into my settings, there's a new search here where I can search for settings. Let's say I forgot where that screen pinning place was at that's under security. I could go type in screen pinning and it'll take me right to the place in the settings where that screen pinning is at. All right, another thing that's built in is Chromecast is built in to Lollipop. So I can Chromecast very, very easily now. The thing that's built in, and this has been important to me for a very long time. This is one, I mean, most most phones have this now, but they they used some of them did, some of them didn't. But this has been important to me. This has been a a breaking point. If it didn't have a flashlight that I couldn't turn on, but that is now built into Lollipop is just built into the settings as you being able to access the flashlight. All right, another thing is if you uh, oh yeah if you go if you click on volume up or down, you have these new options here where you can go to none this is basically like a do not disturb and you can tell it to do it indefinitely so in other words if you click on this it's do not disturb no no interruptions not even an alarm is going to sound and that's going to happen indefinitely that means until you tell it to do otherwise that's the way it's going to be or you can tell it however long you want it to for four hours for three hours or you can go into priority mode and you can go in here and you can tell it what you want to 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 uh, be able to come through or what won't come through. So you can see these new animations here also to switch on and off. All right, so if I go back and just push all, and then that's just letting everything come through now. So you have this. This is built into Lollipop is is the ability to have this do not disturb mode. All right, another thing is is this new keyboard. I like this new keyboard. It is the animation that you get when you type in here brings it brings the letter up. Now, I definitely like that new keyboard. Um, I think you can change this to a a darker gray keyboard. I forgot to look at that, but I'm pretty sure that you can do that also just just standard in Lollipop. So obviously in, in Lollipop, we have what they call material design. It's everything's supposed to be flatter, supposed to be more like you would interact with things in real life. And, and, uh, this Lollipop running on this G2 right now, it just, it's running very, very smoothly. I know before long, once they get the data working, the other few little hiccups worked out that this thing is going to be smoking on here and it's going to be it's going to be nice to have Lollipop. LG has said that they're going to have that they're going to put out Lollipop for the G3. That eventually is going to get ported over here, but for now this is this is pure uh pure Lollipop running on here of course through through Cyanogen Mod 12. Kudos to those guys who have gotten this working and uh running very smoothly. Be be watching for their future development on this. Thanks for watching today.